there, worm nerds. Uh, we're going to take a look at my most populated bin. Um, it is uh, probably mainly occupied by blue worms at this point. This bin is actually um, going to be split up into some into four smaller bins. At some point very soon. Uh, so I have bedding getting ready for them. Um, and those bins will be arriving um, very soon. Um, this bin is very, very high, heavily populated. Uh, it, it churns through... It churns through food very quickly. In fact, um, there's nothing left but this pumpkin except for a piece of skin. Um, they're all over on this side of the bin. Now let's uh, give them a fluffing. See what's going on in there as far as uh, food. Still some uh, bedding in the bottom underneath where they were feeding. Uh, to kind of absorb all of the moisture from the pumpkin that I was feeding. They, uh, they churn through the pumpkin very quickly. Uh, in fact, there's not much left except some skin. Looks like this piece of pumpkin didn't get frozen entirely. So there's still some pieces of pumpkin that don't get eaten as quickly. And it's interesting to see them eat the, uh, the pumpkin portions that have been frozen faster. kind of burr the way through the pieces of pumpkin like that. It's very cool. Alright, so I'm going to set these pieces of unfinished pumpkin off to the side so I can kind of guesstimate as to how much I should feed. using a lot of bedding because it was getting quite damp in here. Alright, looks like they're doing pretty good. Uh, they will need a couple of pieces of pumpkin to tide them over. What I should do is go and fluff the other side of the bin as well. Make sure all the, uh, oops, get off my glove. Make sure the, f the entire bin gets a uh, good fluffing.
Not as many worms over on this side because this bin is in a constant state of horizontal migration. And it looks like the castings over on this side are getting ready to be considered finished, almost. All right, uh, let me go get some uh, pumpkin for them. All right, also got uh, some potato peels for them, as well as a couple of hunks of pumpkin. Uh, what I'll do is push everything over to one side. Give the feeding side some room. There we go. So no one, another one of those Q-tips. This is a fairly fresh one. I think I just put these in uh, within the past month or so, just in a just to be curious to see how long it takes them to eat them. All right, I'm going to put the older pumpkin over here and then get some, uh, some bedding. This is uh, pre-made bedding with uh, coffee and eggshell and uh, worm chow in there already because I have a tendency to forget to put that in every time. Oops. Let me get some uh, potato peels in there. These are very moist. All right. This is a stem from last year's pumpkins that I fed and some potworms. I had a very serious situation with potworms. Uh, they were loving all the coffee that I was feeding. Um, so what I did was to add some lime to my coffee grounds and that has gotten rid of the situation very well. Um, I am not seeing them nearly in the numbers that I was before. Um, just seeing a few random ones like that is uh, really good. All right, so all right, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Hopefully I've gotten all of the little baby worms off of my gloves. We'll be good to go. A lot of the worms like to hang out in between the newspaper that I put down and my uh, covering here, which is a old bag of brewer's grain. And I can actually fold this up depending on how much moisture I want to evaporate from the bin. Uh, so if it's kind of wet, I will fold it up like this. And if it's on the dry side, I will uh, use every single bit of the, the bag to keep uh, moisture in there. But since this is running kind of wet on this side, I'm just going to keep the covering on this side. And hopefully these worms will go back into the 
bedding and whatnot that I just put down there and not get stuck on this newspaper. Come on, guys. All right. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.